following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 547 pounds, Junkyard Dog. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. At a combined weight of 498 pounds, Iron She and Tolos Yamamoto. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Tag team action in full effect, guys, and these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. Oof. Harsh impact. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. This will damage your back. This might be it. Oh, my. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, 
But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. Too quick for him there. Pick the left. Specifically targeting the leg. Tagged in. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, and he reverses it. Straight right. Good night. Oh, what impact. The elbow. No reverses it. Irish whip. Comes in off the tag. And there's his speed paying off. Looks like he's starting to falter. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. The abuse his body has Ouch. gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. No, he reverses it. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. A leverage pin here. Hey, it's only cheating if you get caught. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Gonna take more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's too quick for him there. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino... There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. He wants no part of the outside. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. In off the tag. Boom! Boom! <laughs> He's looking at it. You gotta believe this one's over. Incredible. I don't know how much more of this he can take. 
He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. I think this one's over. He better be kicked. He's got him covered. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Oh, I can't believe this. Check them out here. He's getting after it here. And I always enjoy watching him perform. back and forth battle that was. You know, it didn't happen often.